Hi, I am TBK and in this video we will learn how to create a tool object in Robot Studio. Using your favorite 3D editor, create a model of your desired tool object and take a note of the distance of the two center points from the origin. Then save your tool object as an SAT file in the directory where you can refer to it later. After saving your file as an SAT, open Robot Studio. Under the File New tab, create a solution with an empty station and give it a name. Then under the Home tab, import your tool object. And then we have to define this as a tool. So select the Modeling tab and select Create Tool. Give your tool a new name. Another Select Component, select Use Existing and ensure that your tool is selected, your tool object is selected. Then enter the center point of your tool object. For our tool, our center point is at the very tip of the pen. And when you're done, please verify that Robot Studio places this reference coordinate at a two center point. Then right click on your tool object in the layout tab and save as a library. Give it a, an appropriate name and save it. After saving our tool object as a library, we can now use this tool object in any Robot Studio project that we work on. To import our tool object library, go to the Home tab and select Import Library. Then browse for the library that you just saved. It might be in your Documents folder under Robot Studio Solutions and the pen tool you created. Select the tool library and import it. Notice that Robot Studio places this at the center of the world. Under the Layout tab, click Hold the Pen Tool and drag it into the robot's object. Then Robot Studio comes up with this dialog box that asks if you want to update the position of the Pen Tool. Select Yes and Robot Studio will add the Pen Tool to the end of the robot. Now, to use the Pen Tool, Ensure that your tool object is select set to the pen tool and that your work object is set to the work object that we brought in in the previous video. Then go to the home tab and create a new target. For the reference, we will select the work object and we can create a new target at 000, 000 so we can see that it's relative to both our work object and our tool object. Then let's create this point. By default, our target is with the wrong orientation. We can fix this by copying the orientation of our home object, home target, and pasting that into and applying that to our target, our new target. Now, if we view the robot at this target, you can see that that Robot Studio now calculates the position of the robot, also taking into account the two that has been added. Provided that your two center points are set up correctly, this should work. 